if you don't any, want anyone to see you scratching a part of your body, don't scratch it in public. <laughs> you done something. Yeah. So, well, I, and I'm, again, we're going kind of loosey goosey today. It's informal. Let's try to hear some comments because you guys have come a long way. We're at the people's house. Typically, in a subcommittee, we don't even take public testimony. Um, but we're going a little bit uh, more liberal today. So, uh, I am. You and your liberal. <laughs> <laughs> Classical. We cut that tape. That would be, <laughs> <how awesome. laughs> be the whole commercial. <laughs> says for Republican Warden, you're a liberal? <laughs> <laughs> you said we're being more liberal today. Uh, 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 but we don't have an expectation of privacy. Uh, I'm Joe Harris. I'm an intern with the governor's office. I'm just taking notes. For mm -hmm. Does he have a position on this? I'm not <laughs> well enough to speak on that. Okay, since you're here, thanks for being here. Sure. You might note that it was thrown out there, suggested by somebody, that maybe the governor could look at pardoning the guy who was convicted of this felony on Monday. Why would he do that? Because he has no political, no political um, benefit to it, but it might be a good thing to do. It might be the right thing to do. might be the right thing to do. Uh, okay. uh, Mr. Freeman? Yeah, I'm Ian Freeman. Uh, I host a talk program on over 100 radio stations from coast to coast. So I've got a little bit of experience in, in media and, and all of this. Um, to answer your question about, it was kind of a rhetorical one, but what's the difference between writing something down, remembering something you're told, and having it on video? The difference is the video, the audio recording is objective. So if uh, somebody tells me something and I have to remember it, I might misremember some of it when I'm telling someone else what I've been told. That can be a problem. Uh, so having an objective record of what was said is, is important, especially when it comes to relaying a threat or something else like that. But you don't need to have exceptions uh, to a really complicated law. I support what, uh, what Mark here has suggested in having the one-party uh, consent because one of the things I think has been misunderstood in some of this discussion is that it's, it's not a violation of your privacy when you tell me something. So if I'm having a conversation with you and you tell me something, it, you no longer have privacy there because you talked about it. So if you want privacy, you have to keep it to yourself. Privacy is something that each individual has to work toward. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes money to retain your privacy. And as soon as you tell someone something, you no longer have an expectation that that person, that that person has no obligation to keep your secret for you. And uh, so that, that's, I think, an important thing to, uh, to remember. In, in addition... Ian? Yes. If, do you mind if he sure. questions yeah. specifically on that point? If you were alive in the 1700s, would you have been uh, hanging around outside Independence Hall when they had their secret meetings? I'm not sure I understand what... Well, when, when, they, when they wrote the Constitution, it was, they did it in secret mm -hmm. because they wanted the freedom to talk amongst themselves and say things that perhaps could ruin their reputations outside. Um, so, if I'm understanding your question, is your question, would I be eavesdropping on their secret well, conversations? No, I guess what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to remind everybody here is that there are times when privacy is not only an expectation, but also very necessary. We would never have had the Constitution that gives us the freedom we have today if it had been done in public. Well, I see where you're coming from. The original intention of uh, wiretapping statutes like this was to protect conversations uh, of which you are not a party. So if you were having a private conversation with a gentleman next to you on the phone, and I were to somehow breach that conversation with some technological means, perhaps, by wiretapping, running my own wire on to yours without your knowledge. That was the original intention of this, of this law. But if you're wanting to record your own conversation, you shouldn't have to tell anybody about it because people behave differently when they know they're being recorded. So, right. So, <clears throat> so for instance, with the, the, the guy who just got convicted of felonies, uh, when he was on the phone with a police officer, that officer was very rude to him. He hung up the phone on him, 
And that officer might not have behaved in such a rude manner had he known that he was being recorded. He actually so, testified that he would have behaved the same way. He claimed that, but I don't believe that's true. Yeah, and there's well, evidence to... exercising his right to not talk to him by hanging up. So either way, it's a good solution if it's one party. Right. And there's another important point. Again, being a member of the media, I come from uh, Florida originally. And down there, there are always these reports on television by, like, you know, News Channel 8. Channel 8's on your side. We went into this car dealership where their, you know, our list, you know, viewers told us they were getting ripped off. And we've got hidden cameras that we went in there with and we've asked them these questions. And they get evidence of businesses behaving badly. In the same way, we have gotten evidence of politicians and other government bureaucrats behaving badly because they didn't know they were being recorded. So the same thing with these businesses. It's completely illegal in New Hampshire for me to go into a car dealership with a hidden camera and run one of those sort of sting operations on them. So not only are politicians and bad cops being protected, but also bad businessmen are being protected from uh, being investigated here because this is a two, so-called two-party consent state. So again, the, uh, the one-party consent situation would solve all of these problems. You don't need to be writing a complicated law with a bunch of exceptions. The one exception is today we have the technology to do all these things and back then they did. That's a good answer, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. you have a question for Ian? Uh, yeah. Or a point? Or I have um, another life outside of this building. I'm an overseer of public welfare, and that's a confidential department. And what you're saying is that I can record my clients and not tell them, or they can record me without telling me? Well, if it's your job to, uh, if it's part of your job to keep things confidential, then you'd be violating your, your terms of agreement for your job in that case. But if they were to be recording, they're probably not under the same uh, agreement that you are. So yeah, absolutely. You should, if, if somebody else is on the other end of the line and they want to record the phone call that they're on, then they shouldn't have to tell you anything. You should be behaving in the best manner possible all the time, whether or not you know you're being recorded. And if you're not behaving in a positive manner, in a helpful manner, then you deserve to be outed for that, don't you think? Yes. Um, well, my clients, I only see them face to face. I don't speak to them on the phone. Whether that's yeah. face to face or on the phone, again, I can have, uh, it was mentioned by Seth here that uh, recording devices are getting very small. I could have a recording device in my watch, my sunglasses, and on a necklace uh, around me. If somebody wants to do this sort of undercover investigation, it shouldn't, they shouldn't have to tell anybody that they're being recorded because then all of a sudden they're going to change with their behavior. And we need to know how these government bureaucrats are behaving on a normal basis when they think they're just dealing with just another member of the public who's not recording them. How do they behave? The fact is they're likely to behave rude, they're likely to behave uh, in, a, in an offensive manner, and they need to be outed for that. And it should not be a crime to show this, uh, this sort of thing. You look confused. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> um, they don't see you? There's some other folks with their hands up. I don't know if they have a... Well, it's, uh, no, no, no. I'm going to try to keep some sort of okay. <clears throat> continuity here. So if, if you're done with your um, comments or finish up, and then we'll move so. to Bill. Thank you on the other side here. here. Um, yep, I think that, uh, that's about it. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.